Hi, everybody. It's Linda G and Sterling. Good morning, everybody. We're back together <laughs> again. Yay! Exactly. You were, you're, you're a world traveler to Sedona and back. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm going to, um, him and I will be back on again like we were before. But just FYI, next Sunday is our Dead Famous with Andrea. It'll be on my um, Zoom so uh, we're still going to do that. And uh, I just found out Sterling has no problem doing this show, too. So we got two shows in one. Exactly. So you can, you can never get enough. <laughs> Did, you get enough Did you get up on your numbers for me to do a free reading? We're, uh, we're almost at 17,000 subscribers. I think we're 200 away. So I think very soon, it might even be this week, that we'll, we'll see uh, that change. Yeah. And thank you guys, because I'm up to 44, 750 something, 750. Right. So I only got like 50 to go. So I'm looking forward to hitting 45. My goal is 50, 50,000. Okay. You'll make, you'll make it very soon. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you guys, we have your questions. Thank you for submitting. But was there any other housekeeping I needed to say on your behalf or you needed to say? No, I think we're good, unless you want to go do a little karaoke. But I think other than that, I think we're OK. <laughs> OK, here we go. Will voter suppression laws be corrected prior to the 2022 elections? Yes. Uh, so what I see is that, you know, that what it was at uh, HR1 and S1, this, you know, For the People Act or whatnot, um, that it's going to go through some modification. It's going to get bounced back and forth, maybe two different cycles here. And then it will be a version that gets passed prior to like November of 2022. Yeah, so we'll see, we'll see a new uh, law in that area passed. I do see it. Awesome. So the DOJ getting down on it may help. Yeah, it just looks like there's going to be it's going to, it's going to be a negotiation. So it's going to it's going to change a little bit from what it is now, but it'll still be the fine the campaign finance laws in there and um, a number of things. You know, the all the suppression of voter rights that's going to be reduced greatly. So yeah, it's, it's going to be okay. Right, great. Right. Will anything be done to bar slash DOJ for allowing access to phones of Schiff and other Democratic committee members? By the way just announced, including minor children, just announced just a few minutes ago, they also, Apple also dug into Don McGann's records. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, there's there's going to be litigation and criminal offenses that are going to move forward here based on all of this. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, mostly also, you know, uh, for bar for lying to Congress, right? So there, there's going to be that. And it, I mean, but by the way, this is interesting that there's it's going to be a big dragnet here. A lot of companies involved, not just you know uh, Apple, but many many other companies where they they seize data records. So that's just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. So, um, uh, may I ask, did Barr and a session both denied that they okayed that. Are they lying? The hundred percent. Thank you. Yeah. People of praise, a Christian group tied to Justice Amy Col Col Coney Barrett are going to be investigated for sexual misconduct allegations. Do you see the outcome of this investigation? Yeah, it looks like that's going to go on, you know, for like another six or 12 months here kind of a thing, the investigation. And it looks like several individuals uh, do face criminal prosecution. Uh, and I, it looks like to me, they're all separate trials. So it's not like a combined trial. It's like individual, you know, indictments. Um, I don't see Amy Coney Barrett though, getting, you know, I think that there's some, uh, th there's some bad, bad will that kind of heads her direction. I don't see her in the court cases, but I do see individuals involved in it directly will be in court cases. Yeah. It does put a bad taste on her. It doesn't matter who did it. Yeah, I just I just want to be clear. I don't see her being dragged into court, but I just right. see a lot of you know off you know offshoots from that as bad will. You know. Are death and dignity laws in in this euthanasia? Yeah. I just couldn't pronounce it. In conflict with universal law. 
No, because uh, as it aligns with a life path, which is so critical for everybody, uh, many times, uh, as long as it's being do done in a way that it's mutual consent with the individual, the doctors, the medical team, it ends up being part of a life path. So, I mean, there's no accidents in that area. So it, it does align with, you know, universal practice and life path. Mm -hmm. Is Senator, is Senator Manchin being bribed or threatened for his votes favoring Republicans? Yes, uh, what, what I get on that is actually being threatened. So there, there's something that they have on him and the threats are actually against him and his family. So it's not just him. So you know, based on that, uh, he doesn't wanna go there. So he's, uh, he's turned into a puppet. He's a puppet, you know, for the GOP, unfortunately. Yeah. Will there ever be prison reform? Yes, uh, significant prison reform getting into the second Biden term. But what I see for that prison reform is it's going to have like three or four different lakes to it. So it's going to have a review of, let's say, current prisoners, you know, the, the prison population, uh, you know, severe offenses versus minor offenses, kind of going through all that. I do see a much larger implementation of DNA uh, testing for evidence. So you can really kind of clear the deck of who's in there falsely, who's not. Um, I also see just a much more efficient system of processing crimes. Uh, for example, you might have some minor crimes that they can't people shouldn't be there but they end up like in there six months you know so much faster processing so i do see all that in the next four to five years here kind of the second biden term yeah okay cool what will happen with the miners striking in alabama the company wants to give them one dollar fifty cent raise over five years they are working six days a week 12 hours a day and if the if they miss more than four days a year, they are terminated. They only get three holidays a year, give up health insurance benefits and $6 an hour five years ago to keep the company out of bankruptcy. The company has over 300 million in revenue for his this year and won't concede. The protesters are now being arrested. Alabama. Long question, huh? I know. Uh, yeah, what, what, I, what I see on that is that I think that's it, that's Warrior Met Coal. I think that's the company, Warrior Met. Uh, but what I do see is over the next three to six months here, uh, very significant negotiations leading to a good compromise. So I do see that Warrior Met and a lot of the miners will come to a, you know, a new agreement and it will be beneficial to the miners. So it's, there's a little bit of a process here, so it's not going to happen overnight but they will be able to uh, negotiate a new labor agreement. And my guys keep telling me like three to six months. So maybe they kind of really come to the table significantly in three months, and then they kind of get all hammered out in another three months or six months from now. So, yeah, okay. by the end of the year. Do we still have gold bars at Fort Knox? There still are, but what I'm being told is that more than half the supply has been depleted. So that, that supply of gold that was there is now somehow been moved around to guarantee uh, investments or debt with other world countries. So it's like half of the gold's been moved out of there, securing debt, yeah. And I don't think that that's been publicly told to, you know, the US, okay. so yeah. Will there be any fallout on ProPublica article that the rich are paying very little taxes? Are tax laws going to change on the wealthy? They will. And, and that article, uh, I remember identified like the top 25 wealthiest individuals and not paid tax. And so I do see that. Yeah. I, I actually do see that being the foundation for a lot of tax reform bills that I'm getting passed over the next just few years here. Looks like there's a plethora of these tax bills that get passed prior to the end of this Biden term. And then there's some additional ones in the next term. So yeah, this is, you know, this particular article will provide a great foundation for discussion yeah? okay. and new laws. Why is it necessary for animals to suffer during their short, short lifetime? Do they choose their life experiences before coming to this planet? 
you know, they, they do like all souls and, and animals as well. Animals are part of the angelic realm. They come down with unconditional love and their purpose is to help everybody here. So it is part of their charter, part of their life path. I mean, it, it certainly seems unreasonable to mankind, but their suffering is also kind of a lesson for uh, humankind, if you will. So they, they do, yeah, unfortunately. But animals, because they're part of the angelic realm, they, they come and go very quickly. So they can come back down to earth very quickly and reincarnate. Democracy at, is at risk largely to the actions of many right-wing groups such as Americans for Prosperity, Heritage Action, and others. These groups provide money consultants and computer support to provide Republicans with specific methods that can be used to stir up a, electorate to get rid of government intrusion. What will happen to these organizations and are there people who can stop dark money organizations from destroying democracy? Yes. Uh, so there are a couple of things going on there. The answer to that is that there's a number of new uh, procedures and technology going to be implemented here, not the least of which is uh, blockchain technology, which is multi-ledger technology across banking systems. And that's the backbone to cryptocurrency and also digital wallets. So all, all these things are coming into play here that make, if you will, the digital fingerprint very easy to track for all this dark money. Uh, you, know, you saw the way the Colonial Pipeline, uh, the government was able to get back, I think over half of their money that was paid. Right. Right. Uh, but that was all through the blockchain technology and tracking digital wallets uh, around cryptocurrency. So the answer is yes, that all these new tools and technology will make it easier to track dark money and stop it. Okay. The FBI encrypted app that was used to bust criminals globally, were any of the Trump players involved in its use? I didn't even know that happened. <laughs> yeah, and that's the, the Anom app. It was called A-N-O-M. And um, yes, so one of the biggest reasons the government developed that app, and you could only use that app if you had a criminally obtained special mobile device. So the Anom app wasn't an app you could just download from the Apple store. You actually had to buy a special encrypted phone through you know, the syndicate, uh, drug cartels. But yes, a lot of the, a lot of 45's colleagues were using that app. And so th there's a whole big data sweep here. Uh, the Anom app, A-N-O-M, uh, will be very successful in kind of implicating a lot of 45's, a lot of 45 colleagues. Awesome, thanks. Okay, why do psychics see different outcomes when making predictions for the same event? Is it because they are in a different timeline? No, um, it has a lot to do with, with how you combine a lot of the resources and talents. So for example, you know, we know about clairvoyance and clairaudience and clairsentience. You know, um, every psychic or medium utilizes these skills kind of in different ranges and different forms. And a lot of times uh, psychic mediums will put all this information together collectively. Some psychics may lean on clairvoyance more than clairaudience. So a bit of interpretation there for some psychic mediums. And then, yes, if you combine that with a nonlinear time factor on the other side, um, that always produces some sort of interpretation. So it's a collection of things. Um, it's not that psychic mediums, uh, if you look at a very large range of them, are not getting accurate information. It's kind of the uh, conglomeration of all the information, how you put together the final story, the final picture. Okay. In 10 words or less. <laughs> Why do psych psychics see different outcomes when making predictions for the same event? Oh, wait, I just read that, sorry. <laughs> wait, uh, Linda, that was deja vu. It's yeah. deja vu. <laughs> Can you tell us if the virus, COVID Delta variant, will be successfully contained or will we have more shutdowns? Yeah, this is a very important uh, event going on in the world right now because uh, months ago, you and I were, were talking about another important wave coming, you know, the virus, the COVID and some other big event coming. And COVID Delta, uh, according to my, my guides, this is the event. We're, we're on top of it right now. And so COVID Delta uh, is actually the strain that's now across 91% of India and something like 20 different countries worldwide because it's sweeping Australia and I think 29 states here in the US. Anyway, 
uh, this COVID Delta strain will be contained, but it's gonna cause some more shutdowns and some more uh, activity like we saw earlier in the year here. Um, the good news is that the platform for the vaccines that's been developed will be highly effective in terms of they'll make some modifications to co combat COVID Delta. But yeah, it's important strain, we'll be able to contain it, but we're gonna go through some disruption in the economy and shutdowns before that happens. That'll all happen this year, yeah. Okay, good. Why is Merrick Garland and the DOJ appearing to back 45? Is it because of bigger investigations involving 45? Yes, um, it has everything to do with uh, trying to keep everything above board and acting like they're they're playing fair with everybody. So it's almost like uh, you know giving up you know some part of the battle to win the war. So th this is something. Don't look at it as if this is a long term strategy. This is something they're doing just to appease uh, individuals up front here, so they don't look like they're playing some sort of favoritism when the big when the big indictments come down. Yeah. Okay. Uh is there a Loch Ness monster? It's come up before too, it's interesting. Uh, there was at one time, there was. Um, this is uh, ET based, it's extraterrestrial. Uh, no longer there. Um, it's since been, it's gone. It actually was removed from the planet. So whoever, whoever had that particular ET removed it from the planet. Um, but it's funny. I don't. I don't even know if it's still alive or not. I mean, it's, it's definitely not on Earth anymore. But okay. uh, it appears it may have actually uh, may have passed away. Believe it or not, even after it got removed from Earth. Yeah. Okay. The world is going through a great awakening. What will happen to those who did not awaken? Yeah. The. Uh, I mean, the great awakening is happening in a number of different areas. I mean, you know, you hear a lot of individuals talking about uh, moving from 3D to 4D to 5D. We also know about the magnetic shift in the poles right now on the earth. Uh, so I mean, I can really, the best way to answer that question is that um, when you're not, when you're not awakened, you're not doing things that are in uh, humankind's best interest or your best interest. So maybe you're not supporting vaccines or maybe you're dealing with, you know, money that's illicitly got. What happens is if you're not awakened, you'll end up on paths that either lead to prison time or destruction or major health problems. So it's a matter of kind of not respecting the earth, not respecting uh, the universe. And those things lead to outcomes that aren't very positive, so. Exactly, exactly. And they give you plenty of opportunity to open that door. Mm -hmm. A group of 15 elephants in China have left their regular habitat and are crossing through cities. No one knows what, where they are going. What does the universe have to tell us about this phenomenon? They're, they're moving due to a, a sense that many animals have, and elephants have it too, with if there's a major earth event coming up, like an earthquake, they transition, they're moving. And they usually can sense a magnetic field shift. Uh, and bird, you'll see some cases where birds will act very strange, but they're moving due to the impending major earth event. And that those animals are moving in China. I think they're in China, those elephants. Um, so for me, that indicates a major earthquake coming in China. Yeah. Okay. What is uh, Greg Abbott pulling licenses from refugee settlement housing for migrant children in Texas? Why is Greg Abbott pulling licenses? He's trying to come off with a strong showing of like, you know, border security and, you know, protecting us against illegal immigration. That's kind of the, the why he's doing it. However, um, it's gonna be challenged in federal court. It was like the Biden administration. So they'll challenge this and they'll stop it. But he's just trying to come off strong on, on immigration. That's what he's trying to do. You know, you know that there was a beautiful thing on Twitter. Um, one of the chiefs in North Dakota, I think it's mm -hmm. the governor of, is it North or South? Ohm. I think her name is Ohm. Mm -hmm. She gave a big welcome uh, yeah. to Trump. Anyway, she's a pretty lady. What she wrote on Twitter, oh, well, I don't care what Biden says about Im immigrants are welcome. You you don't come to this country unless to my state unless you're American. And this chief said, you know how sad that was, because yeah. number one, that isn't her land. That doesn't belong to her. It belongs right. to us, he said, the tribes. And also, 
we come from love, you come from hate. So, okay. Are you born the same astrological sign from life to life? No, no, not at all. All, all depends on, I, I said before, my, my guys have talked about this, that uh, your life path and your blueprint kind of a predominantly design how you end up coming down to earth. But then there's certainly an astrological alignment when you come down, but you don't come down on the same astrological sign every time. No. Okay. Uh, does being transgender have anything to do with past lives as other genders? No. Um, so it's always a forward motion, a forward thinking event. So when you set up your life path, you're not doing it. You obviously learn lessons in other life, lifetimes. But when you come down here, that blueprint, if you're transgender uh, or you want to be transgender, what that does is that's a unique desire to learn the lessons of what it's like to be kind of, you know, both the female and the male experience. So feminine and masculine energy. So it's a very clear designed you know, lesson that you want to experience when you're down here, but doesn't really have anything to do with a prior life, no. Okay. Why aren't UFOs detected by sophisticated spyware satellites orbiting the earth? If they have the technology to defeat it, why can't they defeat and evade basic sim 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 systems at sea level? Surely, if they can cloak themselves at 500 miles above Earth, they can do it at ground level. So, the, you know, the answer there is, I'm not sure um, who asked the question, but uh, the government can detect uh, ETs and UFOs, and we have. Some assertion was made there, why sophisticated spyware, whatever, can't access. But anyway, you know, here's, here's the thing. Uh, a lot of these uh, aircraft are moving at like 500 Gs. So 500 times uh, normal gravity. Uh, F-18 fighters that we have uh, move at the most like nine Gs. So the speed of these objects is what, what causes a problem, but they can still be detected. So I'm not sure if that answers the question, whoever asked it, but we detect them, but there's only so much you can do if an object's moving at 500 Gs. Right, right. And, and really, I think, um, we're talking about something between nine and 10,000 miles an hour. So, yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. Okay, do you see anything coming up next week? I do. Um, I, I see what well, looks like, you know, more sanctions on Russia from Biden. You know, I don't think things are going to go so well with all these discussions going on. You know, the G7 summit, I think it ends today on June 13th. I think it ran through today. But I do see uh, 45's comments still causing a lot of problems across the G7, you know, with uh, countries trusting the U.S. There's a ripple effect there. Um, I do see more major fires across the U.S., unfortunately. We're going to see a continuation of mass shootings. I don't know what is going on, but we got about three or four more weeks of mass shootings. Um, and I do see major drought, you know, still continuing on around, around the world. Uh, and so we're really going to have to kind of buckle down on kind of what we're doing there so and then you know not the least of which we touched on this on the show but this COVID delta uh virus that's around we're all going to have to buckle down on that too so you know just i would say be careful uh masks are always still a good idea and it's not a time to be uh careless because we've got a good couple of months here before COVID delta gets under control so on the um what you were talking about, what were you saying? You said you see the fires, the drought. Mm -hmm. Any idea how much longer we have to go through this? Are we, is next year a good one? Well, it, it's gonna go in cycles, but the real answer is we got about a good five years of droughts we're gonna have to contend with worldwide just due to you know, the changing uh, environmental effects, right? And what they call global warming. So but it's gonna be a number of years. years. We What's have that? record rain. California has already done their five years. Yeah, I mean, it's still, we still got a real, a, a real hurdle over the next five years is what my guys are telling me that we're, it's going to go in cycles. So we'll ne we're not going to be out of the clear for a good number of years here. So it means that uh, a lot of conservation in ways that we haven't done before, uh, much more, you know, drought tolerant uh, landscaping and systems that watch how we use water. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we're out of water. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's affecting a lot of other ecosystems, right? It affects, you know, fishing and, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, we are out of water. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that next year, I'm feeling like even next year something will come up, but we'll see. Well, I guess I'm gonna be, we're clear. We're going to see uh, we'll see relief cycles that may go a number of months, but you're not going to be out of clear for like five years. So you know when you get a relief cycle, then it's time to like you have to hedge your bets and understand how to use what you have. So, okay. do you have any for information that your guys want to share? They do. You know, most importantly, uh, when you're communicating with your guides and angels, keep it simple, keep it straightforward. You know, you communicate often, but be very direct and keep it simple. I always tell people I love meditation, but meditation is not required to talk directly with your team. You can talk to them driving in the car, walking down the street. So the message for today is they kept telling me, keep it simple, keep it straightforward. Just communicate exactly. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't need a lot of pop and circumstance. And as you know, as a nod to the old Seinfeld show, you don't have to wear a pyramid on your head you know, to make it happen. So well, they already kind of know what you're going to yeah, say. Right. Awesome. My friend, thank you so much. A pleasure as always. Uh, next week is our, I need your list, by the way. Next week is our famous, dead famous and with Andrina and Sterling and myself. Absolutely. Okay, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Take care.